the hell in there. So, I've been making custom morning knives in my metal saw key machine, machine for a long time now. But today, I got two brand new, two used key machines for $25 each, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I wanted to make the video to show you the key machines, how I've been doing this in my power saw. So this is not going to be a, a video to show you how to cut the morning night. It's going to be a video to show you everything and how I generally go about it. But we will get into actually cutting knives in custom, make custom profiles, how to do it, how to put your knife in the jig and trace your molding and all that. And we're going to cut custom profiles to match historic molding. So what I did to this machine, I took off the, the cutter and cut the keys. And I <clears throat> put on a, a cutting disc. And these come on those air grinders. And that has the same armor hole as the, the, the meal cutter. So I replaced that with this disc. Now that's only one sixteenth of an inch thick, so I can get into every little area in there. So when I'm just about done, I'll put a new nest on there, and then I'll come back and go over the whole thing, so I keep my grind equal on the knife. So this is a a knife that I grind a long time ago. And I did it by hand. I didn't use this this key machine to do it. I did it all by hand on a on a grinder, and then with a file I sharpened it up. So I I made a lot of molding with this thing, but my grind wasn't that good. You can see that. Not much there. You can see where the key machine is starting to make a nice hollow grind there. Now this knife, I made this on this key machine. And you can see in the hollow grind, and then I sharpened it up with a stone. Just with a stone, I sharpened that. And this thing cuts great. That is sharp, and sharp to me. It makes nice molding. Now I run this in my Windmaster. I used to run it in a shaper. But I don't know if you've ever used a shaper. They're no fun. They are scary pieces of equipment. So I'm not doing that anymore. But the process will be about the same to make a knife for the shaper or the Windmaster motor. So I bought these two key saws, hoping to do this with a little bit more power. This runs short on power to run the knife. So I was hoping to get this to work like that. So as I work on these machines, I'm going to do some videos on grinding knives on this machine because this is what I know and I can do it on here. At the same time, I'm going to work on these new machines and try to get them to me, I'm gonna cut a, a molding knife, just like I do on here. Now these, these machines, they are cheap. I've seen this one go for $15. I bought these for $25. I see them around $20, $25. These are obsolete key machines. On eBay, they go for a lot more than that. I've seen this $150. But if you look around, uh, Craigslist, they are out there. There's a lot of these machines out there. Every hardware store had one of these. When they don't anymore, they're obsolete. This is a Curtis Model 200. This is the one I'm going to use first. That's a Curtis Model 3000. 
This is a tea thousand. So the way we're going to start this, these videos is I'm going to custom grind three craftsmen molding knives to go in our molding head. And they're going to be a custom grind. Uh, something like this. Now I custom grind that one. Not on here. I can see that that wasn't on there. I did it by hand, sharpened it up, and I ran some custom molding with that. Now I think this was a one a one counter hand uh, disc. I only made one knife. But this time we're going to make three knives and we're going to run them in our molding head in our radial arm saw and we're going to make some nice custom molding with that. So what I do here is I'll put the knife in the tea machine and we'll grind that down to our custom molding. What the tea machine allows you to do is you have much more control and accuracy with this machine. Now, profile grinding machines for molding head counters are really expensive. Someone like me can't. A, a DIY guy or an old house handyman, there's no way. But I still want to make some historic molding because I need that from time to time. And a lot of times it's only a couple pieces. And I hate to see what a mill shop would charge you for that. So this is just an everyday handyman grinding custom shaper knives or molding knives. So you can do it. You can get it done. I've done it. I've done it many times. I made custom moldings. I made custom moldings for my home when it was missing them. So we have gotten this done. But we will go through the whole process of putting our knife in the in the holder, putting our molding on here, tracing that out and grinding the knife and using it. And we're gonna start with this craftsman in our molding in. So, on these Curtis ones, I think I'm going to be able to get that to work on this wheel. It looks like the profile matches pretty darn close. So that is a possibility. So, one of the things we have to worry about is movement up and down, and I might have to do some grinding and cutting, so we're going to alter this machine. But, it's only 25 dollars, and they're not really not useful for grinding keys. And you're not going to see me grind any keys, I don't really have time to do that. But I can just get them done at Home Depot. So you're not going to see me use this to grind a key. We're going to use it to grind custom Motor nuts. So we can order any way we any way we want to to make that work for us. So man, we're not worrying about that. We're not testing cutting keys or anything like that. So I bought these two Curtis machines. This one works good. That one has a fan motor. Uh, it smokes. You probably want to see it smoke. Maybe we can, maybe we can make it smoke. So we're going to go into our, in our pile of motors and get a new motor thrown on there. It runs good, but you can start to smell it and you can Start to see it. Eventually. I like to think at this time that there's nothing wrong with it, but that's not true. You can see the smoke coming out now. So, that needs a new matter. 
Which is not a big deal. Yeah, lots of motors. I just take a little phone, furnace motor and drop it in there. It will be good to go. So this is all the all the action. Today I got these machines. I'm kind of excited about finally grinding these knives. And use my old bell saw to do it. So we're gonna start on making some videos of how to grind custom chamber knives or morning knives. The craftsman. And I'm gonna buy some knife stock. And we'll do some knives for the, the windmaster that I have. So these these knives here, I used to buy these from Grizzly. Because I didn't, there was no other place that I knew to get them. That was before the internet days. So, I'm going to buy a bar of knife stock. And we're going to do this all together different. To make those knives. And again, they're going to be custom knives. Knives you cannot buy. We're going to do it very cheaply. Kind of do it yourself. Just for the average guy to make a, a molding knife in their basement, put it on their craftsman, 